This 28-year-old woman is on her way to meet a guy who she will recognize instantly, though she doesn't really know him. You look wonderful. They used to be total strangers, but their lives have collided in the most heartbreaking way. You have my brother's face. It's hard to see where my brother ends and where you begin. Richard Norris made medical history when he received the first ever full face transplant, a face that once belonged to Rebecca Aversano's brother, Joshua. His nose, his lips, his teeth, his jawbone, I mean his hair, everything belonged to my brother. Rebecca's 21-year-old brother dreamed of becoming a U.S. Marine. But life came to a sudden end when he was hit by a car and killed instantly. Losing my brother was the hardest thing that I've ever gone through. In the midst of this heartbreaking crisis, doctors asked Rebecca and her family to make a difficult decision. They asked us if we were willing to donate or if we would consider donating Joshua's face. The man who would receive the face was Richard Norris. They told us that it was Richard's only hope. Richard was just 23 years old when a shotgun blast accidentally blew away half his face. For the next 15 years, Richard lived as a recluse, rarely going outdoors, hiding his ruined face behind a mask. We have in our power to um, give someone another chance at life. It was close to an ideal match. This was Richard before his accident. You can see that he and Rebecca's brother looked strikingly similar. Same hair and skin color, the same blood type, even similar bone structure. Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez outlined the 36-hour operation at the University of Maryland Medical Center. He led a massive team of 150 doctors and nurses transplanting bone, skin, facial muscles, and even a tongue. This was Richard before surgery, and this was Richard post-surgery. Today, he can barely believe his transformation. There's no words to describe it. I have no face, I have a face back. I feel a little bit of beard. Incredibly, from the back of his head to the bottom of his neck, the skin was transplanted in one complete piece. That explains why there are no scars. I definitely see my brother, you know, when I look at you. For Rebecca, the fact that another man is wearing her brother's face is helping her to overcome her devastating personal grief.